Hello, and welcome to this webinar on the Oasis Primer Crash Test Setup Tool. My name is Andrew, and I'll be taking you through this topic today. All our webinars are recorded and available to watch on our website or YouTube cha channel. Also, on our website you can find tutorials, plus links to past webinars and information on upcoming webinars. If you're joining me live today, you'll see that you're muted. If you have any questions during the webinar, please type them into the chat and I'll do my best to answer them towards the end. If you're watching this on YouTube and you have a question, please feel free to leave us a comment or get in touch with your local support team using the contact details you'll see at the end of the presentation. Today's objective is to explain the crash test setup tool available in Oasis Primer and demonstrate some of its features. This webinar is mainly targeted towards Oasis Primer users in the automotive industry who frequently analyse crash tests or have an interest in this area. In this webinar today, I'm going to start by explaining what crash test setup is and then demonstrate the user interface. I'll then look at how to save preferences. Finally, I'll also demonstrate the batch crash test setup tool. First, an introduction. Crash Test Setup is a tool that helps you set up various crash tests according to different regulations. Features include barrier alignment, contact definition, and boundary conditions. The tool can be used to set up a single crash test relatively quickly, but it is also designed to improve the process of preparing multiple crash test models. You can define all of the required settings for a vehicle and link them to the keyword file. Then when you read in the model again to set up a different test, the settings are automatically loaded. You can define the default barrier model for a specific test so that the correct barrier is imported for each test type, pre-configured and ready to go. You can edit and save your own crash test setup preferences. So let's look at the crash test setup user interface within Oasis Primer. Here I have a new primer session with a vehicle mod model already loaded. Crash test setup is accessed via the tools menu under safety and crash test setup. This loads the tool. On the first screen, you can choose to read a vehicle file or if you have the model already loaded like I have, choose it from the list of models in memory. Click next to proceed. We are now presented with the main window which consists of three tabs, crash test, vehicle, and barrier. In the crash test window, you select the crash test you want to set up for analysis from the list. We aim to keep this list of tests up to date as new regulations emerge. Indeed, with version 19 that I'm using for this demonstration, some additions and edits have been made to reflect the latest available information. You can also manually edit the test options if necessary in this screen. In the Vehicle tab, you can confirm or edit vehicle settings. You can also import them from or save them to a preference file for use in later sessions. Similarly, in the Barrier tab, you can import the required barrier for your test and confirm, edit, save and load settings. You can switch between tabs to edit data at any time. You can also use the restart button to rescan the model and reset all test, vehicle and barrier settings. Extensive help is provided throughout the interface by pressing the question mark icons. Let's look at these tabs in more detail. First, the crash test tab. The list of tests is shown on the left hand side. Clicking on one of these shows an image and more detail and settings for that test on the right. The list can be sorted by clicking the buttons at the top of the columns. The list can also be filtered by using the drop downs at the top. Here I'm showing just the Euro NCAP tests, or also by test type. Here I'm filtering by side impact R-point tests. 
You can also use the search box to find relevant tests you are interested in. Here I've selected the oblique overlap test. The current regulation requirements are populated in the fields, but you are free to edit these if you wish. It is also possible for some tests to change the impact side left or right. U in version 19 is the ability to select both left and right impacts and the tool will set up both in one session by creating one model for left impact and one model for right impact. Once you are happy, click the next button to move on to the vehicle settings. The vehicle tab consists of a number of smaller panels where you can define the settings for the vehicle. By default, only the vehicle settings required for the selected test are displayed. However, you can tick all tests in order to define the settings for every possible test. Then you can save all of the settings ready to be used in future for any crash test setup involving this vehicle model. For this demonstration, I will just edit the settings for the oblique test. Each of the panels has help that will explain exactly what data you need to enter. For example, the various part sets are shown here. There are also useful sketch functions available, so you can check your data is correct. Here I'm sketching the left part set. I could also sketch the ground plane, for example. There are also some built-in checks to ensure required settings are entered. For example, here I have changed the vehicle driving direction. You can see that the wheel, axes and centerline panels are highlighted in red to indicate that the data in those panels may now be inconsistent and I should revise them. The absence of a red border does not necessarily mean the vehicle setting is correct. For example, the tool cannot currently tell if coordinates in the ground plane are correct. Once the vehicle settings are complete, you can move on to the barrier settings. In the barrier tab, you choose to import the barrier for this particular test. Included with Oasis Primer are a number of simplified default barriers, but you can also choose to import your own. Here, I'm just importing the default. Crash Test Setup imports the barrier as an include transform. The include transform card refers to a defined transformation card that will list the rotations and translations made to the barrier during alignment. Where possible, all the rotations and translations of the barrier are combined to result in only one line for rotations and one line for translations in the defined transformation card. When the barrier is imported, there must be no clashes in label numbering between the barrier and the vehicle, and so you are given the option to apply labeling offsets. Here you can see the barrier has appeared in its default position behind the car. Now the barrier settings can be checked and edited if necessary. As for the vehicle tab, you can edit barrier settings for all tests or just the selected test. One thing that is new for the version 19 release is that you have more control over the definition of the vehicle barrier contact. New options have been added to select an existing contact or create a new contact. For now, I will use the auto create option. Once all barrier settings are complete, you are ready to position the barrier. Pressing go will initiate the positioning of the barrier. From version 19, you can choose where newly created keywords will be written, to the master file, to an existing include file, or to a new include file. Once this choice is made, the barrier is aligned. The barrier is rotated and translated towards the vehicle until it makes contact. When positioning is complete, a summary is displayed and you are given the option to write out the keyword file for subsequent analysis in LSDyner. In this demonstration, I've selected to only position one impact side. If both left and right impacts were selected, the left impact would be saved to model one and the right impact to model two. As you can see, the barrier has been positioned according to the test specifications 
and so it is just in contact with the vehicle. Now I'll demonstrate some of the preference options. The first time you open the Crash Test Setup tool, you will be informed that preference files will be created in your home user area, as you can see here. Should you wish to change where the user preferences are saved, you can change this in the Start window. Some general preferences can be accessed via the button at the top of the main window. If you have appropriate permissions, you can also save the preferences to a system area for use throughout a group of users. General preferences include the contact offset distance, default titles, and so on. The system preferences always take precedence unless the user selects user next to a particular preference. The user can revert to the system preference by selecting system. Within each of the three tabs, crash test, vehicle, and barrier, you can also save preferences. For example, here I've edited the initial velocity for this test. By clicking on Save Crash Test, I can enter some unique information, which will then save this test to the preferences. I can then search for this test and reuse it in a later session. In the Vehicle tab, again, you can modify settings and save them. Here, I am modifying the ground plane and saving the vehicle settings with a unique name. Clicking Import Settings will load the saved preferences. The same procedure applies to the barrier settings. Next, Let's look at batch crash test setup. Also included in version 19 are batch crash test setup scripts, which can be used to set up multiple different crash tests at once. This automates the setup process and makes it easier to generate many load cases. Two scripts are available, one with a user interface, as demonstrated here, to help the user generate and modify the test setups a second script with no user interface can be used to set up the cases straight from the saved batch XML files. The batch scripts can run all the predefined load cases, as well as user modified tests and barriers. It also allows for different vehicle settings to be used. Here I have set up two cases, an oblique pole side impact case and a full width frontal impact case. I use the drop down arrows to easily copy settings from the first to subsequent cases and then modify if required. Options to import or save settings are available. On pressing go, both models are created. A status message is displayed at the end of all of the test setups to indicate whether positioning was successful. Loading the models in again, you can see that the barriers have been positioned as required for a subsequent analysis. That concludes my examples for this webinar. 
If you'd like further resources to learn more about using Primer or other parts of the Oasis suite, head over to our Oasis Elestina YouTube channel for other webinar recordings, plus our short top tip videos. A reminder that we also host all our past webinars on our website under the Past Webinars tab. You can also sign up for our newsletter from the website too. Finally, more information on crash test setup, including detailed specifications of each of the crash tests, can be found in the Crash Test Setup Complete Guide, accessed by clicking Help, then Tutorials in Primer. Thank you very much for watching. I'm now happy to try and answer any questions you may have.